Now we're going to start a little painting adventure. First thing that we have to do is determine what the weather is outside as far as humidity. We're going to start on this back wall right here and I put some green tape on the bottom. I use green tape, use green tape on wood like this because of the clear that's over this wood if you pull the clear off with too sticky a tape then this, is, this will be a mess and the customer will be real pissed at you. Anyway, after we figure out that we have total humidity then we go over here and we look at our little thermometer which says 60 degrees in Fahrenheit and I don't know what Celsius is so fuck it we'll just go with Fahrenheit. Now what you're going to need when you have paint you'll need two things you're going to need heat and warm moving air in order for the paint to dry you cannot paint in a cold area you cannot paint in a cold area that has no moving air because the paint evaporates to dry if you put it on cold like this especially when I'm, I'm doing it in slightly the winter what will happen is uh, the paint will get on there wet you'll you'll go get a cup of coffee half an hour later you come you'll come back and half the paints all gone to the floor now we're going to start with this area right here and usually what you're supposed to do is take some TSP which is uh, trisodium phosphate you can get it in liquid or granular form and you put it in water and you can clean the walls but I'm not going to clean these walls except over here I will clean this ceiling above this stove right here where this fan is and I will take that fan off and I will take that light off and I will take that really cool paradise mix off next thing you need uh, we've got caulk caulking gun for all our little cracks we've got uh, white tape and we only use inch and a half in the white and the green and one inch in the white and that's all you need we're gonna do this bare minimum list so you want to have your paint all shaken up and if you've noticed here I poured some paint from here into the bucket and you'll notice oh my god there's two spots of paint on the ground I did this on purpose that is why you want to have two buckets of water right there so we grab a rag that we have handy right here that's a little bit of hot water remember this is linoleum it's no problem you get on a rug that's something else but you just take you go oh my god what am I gonna do what am I gonna do oh oh look at that as long as it's wet it will go away now we also have oil primer right here which I'm going to use on this area right down here where these old windows right here are solid glass and they're made in the 50s and it cost me a few thousand dollars to replace them but the water gets in underneath here the condensation what I'll do is I'll strip this off and I'll put all free paint in oil primer and seal this and then I will put semi-gloss paint on here on the insets here 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 but I'm not gonna do that now I'll do it the last thing that's my plan so I'm going to do this wall first, and you can do a wall at a time if it's your own house and you have time to do it. And you can see up in here where it looks really kind of dull up there. That's where I caulked it a, a, a few years ago, and it's uh, it's it's caulked out or it's cracked out. That's just from mainly it's from getting bad caulk. But everything's been caulked up here at least once. That I've done it and if you'll notice okay there's no spider webs up here there's no little bug marks nothing okay that's what caulking does on the inside of your house if you don't like spiders now if you look on the outside it's the same way we all know how many bug marks and and spiders and everything else are up in here now everything in it out, out here has been caulked the thing is, you, and there are a few little tiny places for spiders, but in their major places, there's nothing. Because they require 
and that's that that right there is dank sack that's they require um, a place in a corner somewhere so that they can get in under something that's not an egg sac but when we do it inside the house and bugs love to come inside the house spiders everything else that's why if you seal off all the holes to the inside of your house first of all you'll save a lot of money in heat and the little bugs won't come in they just won't and if you do find a place where there is a, a little spider web or whatever well then you know you got a hole there somewhere okay now we're going to start painting now remember um, you can uh, keep everything covered very nicely but have you ever seen a portrait painter that uses um, masking tape no they don't why don't they do that because they're careful so as long as you're careful and you have faith and you have a great teacher like me and really good looking and the spy cat what are you doing down there huh yeah likely story you notice whenever I'm doing my work or making a video or something we have this little Stasi East German cat. I'm going to have to get an uh, East German interpreter over here and see if we can trick her into making some noise. Alright, so I'm going to do this wall first. And let's see how, we, how it goes.